Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Scott, and here's some news you may have missed that caught my attention. In California, a 43-year-old man was so badly beaten that half his skull was left permanently bashed in and now is unable to speak, well, he was awarded $58 million. It's the largest damage awards ever given to one person in California. Back in 2010, Antonio Lopez Cha tried to squash a beat between family members and a bar manager who had backup from an unlicensed, untrained security guard. The man, Antonio Cha, was beaten by the security guard with a baton, kicked in the head eight times, and had his skull smashed against the pavement four times. Now, the security guard and the manager have disappeared and have not been arrested. The security guard worked for DG ESP security and patrol services. Now, Antonio needs 24-hour care. Now, on the real, there's no way Antonio will ever even see 10% of that $58 million. The security company ain't got it. And the bar? Please. A 48-year-old Northwest Missouri man apparently committed suicide in court by swallowing a cyanide pill after being convicted of sodomy on a 14-year-old girl. Now, after hearing his conviction, Steve Parsons threw his head back, arched his back, and had a seizure. Police searched his house later on and found out that he had ordered cyanide pills from the internet. Man, you can get anything from the internet. Not man enough to take his punishment? Mm -mm. Not man enough to face his family? Mm -mm. What else? A man in California is hotter than fish grease because police fatally shot his three-year-old Rottweiler while arresting him. Leon Roseby parked his Mazda, left his radio blasting some usher, and then got out with Max, his 130-pound rot, to film police at a crime scene to make sure nobody's civil rights were being violated. Now, when cops walked up on him, Leon put Max in his car. But as cops were handcuffing Leon, Max jumped out of an open window and went toward the cops. An officer shot the dog several times. Now, Leon's suing. He says, and I'm quoting, he literally shot my puppy. All he did was love me. Dude, you put your rod water back in your car with the windows down, so you didn't secure your dog. Did the cops overreact? You ever have a 130-pound rod water a few feet from you that was hostile and ready to go there? Now, if you watch the video, and I'll link you to it, the dog does seem to calm down for a second. But what would you have done? Me? Oh, I'd have let the air out of that dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm sorry. There would have been a chalk outline around that dog. I'm just saying. I'm keeping it 100. Yup, yup. Hey, that story going around about the woman that came home early from work and found her husband laid up with another man asleep and sucking his thumb is a bunch of shame on you for spreading this around like it's the truth. You know not everything on the internet is true. The picture has been around a while and it seems to be staged. I mean, look at it. The lighting, too perfect. And don't tell me you know this woman in Atlanta who posted this. You saw Oprah 20 years ago too when Liz Claiborne said she didn't make clothes for black people, right? Oprah said Liz Claiborne was never even on her show, but you still saw it, right? Hey, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. A thumbs up helps a lot. Subscribing brings me to tears. I've got some other videos for you to check out right here. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony Scott.